Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. Today is episode 14. Sorry, the update is coming very late. We had blackout. Anyway, uh, we will do GPPAUD and I want us to discuss why this trade was a fail for us. You remember guys, I told you we do a limit at 91.45. We were supposed to do a limit at 91.45. So I want you to comment down below if you are still holding this trade. My advice guys, uh, you should just close that negative and just accept to learn <laughs> because I am here to tell you how you should bounce back even after you fail. One day failing does not define you or define your trading journey. Even if you analyze the market and it goes against you because at this moment we had NFP news and NFP news cut across, it affects every single pair. So NFP came weak for USD pairs. So any USD pairs bought, and because Audi USD is negative correlation with GBP AUD, if you didn't know, when you trade Audi USD, it will always be negative to GBP AUD. GBP AUD. So let's say you're trading Audi USD, it is on a sell, GBPOD is on a buy. So we was we had a sell opportunity on our DSD. That's why we were so confident that GBP Audi will buy. So if NFP news supports or fails to support AUD USD, so if one buys, the other one sell because it has negative correlation. So if you didn't know, now you know. Ah, not buy, sell. So because I was trading our DSD and I was on sell. And uh, GBP I was on a buy. So there's no way you can trade both ways, like sell, sell, or buy, buy. Now, when you lose in a trade, this is what you should do because this is trade psychology, guys. If you analyze and the market does not do as you please, you have the more mind than the market. You should wipe up your dust and come back to the trade and watch and tell God to open your eyes. Tell him, I am here, Lord, again. I have not given up. So that's what we are doing here in this episode 14. For those who have lost, don't worry. Keep going. Keep moving. Every time you lose money in the Forex, always no money is replaceable. You can imagine um, those people who are facing the floods and facing difficulties, accidents on the road and all these things, tough things in their lives. Once they lose, it is not replaceable. You can't replace a life. But when you lose money, just encourage yourself and come back and you'll be stronger. Anyway, we had this. <laughs> the reason why we were on a buy GBP AUD, it's funny because we were on a buy because of this double bottom. And this double bottom, they have not violated. These people are very smart. I had not seen that the wind of the the zone you see how wide it is so they knew even if they come back they might not it has 73 pips range so they are still on our double bottom this is what made us even to buy but i've discovered so many things and i don't know if i can um i will be able to share them in this video so this is what made us to buy because the market um the market broke our half guys. The market broke our half guys. You see, the market broke our half. So when, when we were thinking, oh, this market is gonna buy, when we were so confident this market is gonna buy, there were so many things that were happening um, behind the scene. And for me, I have come to realize that sometimes your eyes can be closed for one reason. If you persist and you persist and you persist, that's when your eyes are closed, are open. When you come to Forex and you want to analyze a chart, you may not see in everything at the first attempt. You will start seeing, you, you may not be able to see everything, but if you pay attention, like I will keep on, paying attention. So I have told you, this is an update to tell you, first of all, close GBPAUD because we don't know what it wants to do. We don't know. We don't know what it wants to do. So 
this candle I will observe it by the end of the week, uh, the, the day. And today being on a Friday, the candle is still closing. So today being on a Friday, the market is closing. Uh, so that is a monthly monthly market. So this is a weekly market, you can see. Uh, today being on a, today being on a Friday, we have a candle close. And it is good not to sleep with running trades because we don't want you to be biased of the trades that you have. So the best thing I want you guys to understand is that you can analyze and the market can come out to be negative. Like we have here, GBPOD was a total fail for us. So as I was asking myself, why did we, what did we miss? Whenever we had the buy order around this area, because the market, you can see the market just was on an uptrend. So we were thinking this is a retracement, but it seems like it's a reversal or a deep retracement. Once the market activated our, our trade, we would have checked for any red flag of exiting. You see, so we got an exit, we, we got an activation 2344, uh, 91.44. That's where our activation was. And in our activation, so this is what happened. And I want you to pay attention. Once we got an activation, so the market was like that. We had not gotten any activation. And then the next candle, we got an activation. So we were, in fact, we were in profit. For those who closed early, they made money. So we were in some profit or after activation, the market went up with 45 pips. What happened here, we got created a support. So when a red candle followed by a green candle, what do we create? When a red candle is followed by a green candle, when a red candle is followed by a green candle, what do we get? We get, we get a what? A support. So once that support was created, would have been very careful because this support can give us an exit point and support, we put it at the, at the week. I'm showing you where we went wrong. So the next candle yesterday at night, we had a blackout. So when once we had a blackout, this candle closed around 8 p.m. We had a blackout. I didn't even see the candle that closed. So today in the morning, we still had blackout and around, Around 10, that's when I, I was able to, to analyze and I could have opted to close that trade because whenever a support is broken, two things happen. Support breaking means who is in, in control, sellers are in control. So our trade could have exited at 90.87. So we could have been taken on a drawdown of only 56 pips. I tell you guys, I don't put stop loss. I exit, but this time I, I took long to exit. So when the market started to range, and because I knew there was news, uh, the market started to range like this and it, it formed this box. So my, my exit was below this box. So I just put a stop loss because I knew whenever news comes, it's either the market break above or break below. And we wanted for this market to break above. And because we could not know where the market would have broken into, so that was around eight. So when I came to check, um, when I came to check uh, the, the market after the lights came back, uh, the news did what they did. And you can see we have that massive breakdown upon support level. So guys, for me, I can tell you that next time we'll be careful. We'll be much careful. Um, buyers will still come in. The question is when, how they will still come in because whenever the market uh, behaves like this, whenever the market behaves like this, it is looking for an opportunity where you cannot resist that buy. So we will observe and see when will the buy opportunity 
comes. So I'm just waiting to see the candle, uh, the candle close, the daily candle close. That's what I'm I'm waiting to see. Once I see the candle close, I'm good to go. I'm good to go, guys. Anyway, enough with that. <laughs> if you have st if you're still angry about GBPOD, don't be angry. If you're still angry, don't be angry. <clears throat> and that is it, guys, for this video. It was just an update and to show you that in life, in this Forex market, many other times you will analyze market and it does not go as you as you want. And it's fine. It's all fine. So when it doesn't go as you wish, it is fine. You you don't want um you, you can't be just in one position. You just say it's okay. Next time I'll do better. Anyway, all the best, guys, and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Love you.